today making some strides. Jones to the short side of the field is up past midfield and he's got an SMU first down so he's got some burst here in the early going just could not find the right look but to me I clearly thought I saw that foot going out bounds. so it stands as an 18 yard pickup the catch for Rasheed Rice the freshman from North Richland Texas I think establish themselves now as older players within the program michelle has got time, floats it to the outside to Prochet. And on the run, he picks up the first down to get to the doorstep of the red zone and catches a piece. Michelle going over the top of that. He's got a touchdown. Kylan Granson, the junior tight end from Austin, with his sixth touchdown catch of the year. 22-yard hookup, and they made it look easy. Third downs, like this one right here. Just a three-man rush for SMU, and Ayers goes down. Delonte Scott gets his eighth sack of the season. It, and obviously, we put out of the game many times. That's just a maturation of Shane Bouchel getting down. That was a one-man route the whole time as he just looked to turn and get rid of it, and it's another first down for SMU. Calvin Wiggins made the first down catch. This throw is picked off. ECU coming back the other way is what they needed to stem the tide of SMU is exactly what they got. And Jaquan McMillan, the freshman from Winston-Salem, gives the ball back to the Pirates. Plenty of time for the southpaw who unloads over the top. His pass is complete to Hatfield, sprinting away, and it's a touchdown for ECU. They needed something on third and eight. They said, make it big, and Hatfield takes it all the way, 68 yards. In receiving touchdowns with Emmanuel Sanders, who's a decade into his NFL career. Sanders shakes one tackle, and he's just shy of midfield. The cupcake did not stand a chance. Right? <laughs> did not stand a chance around me. Freeman comes out of the backfield on the slant. It's a wide open Kylan Granson who caught the touchdown on the opening drive. And he's got a first down to the 32 for SMU, a gain of 19. This time they use Jones in motion as a distraction. Freeman breaks away, has Jones as a lead blocker in front, rumbles down to the 12 yard line. Bouchelle on fourth down, as much time as he wants. He floats it to the back for Granson. His second touchdown catch of the first quarter, a score for SMU. Here comes the blitz, picked up up the middle. Ehlers on the roll, he throws, and the pass is complete to Sneed for an ECU first down. To secure a throw for a first down. Ehlers sprinting, sliding right near the sticks. That pocket collapses. You take off and you get what you can get. Williams is going to do just that out of the backfield. A collision at the 21, another first down. There it is. Kick plenty of leg is his 20th made field goal of the year. True from 38 yards, and it's 14-10 SMU. Cutting across the middle, zips past one tackle, and is ankle tackled at the 50-yard line. He's really kind of coming to his own the last couple weeks. The tight end they can use in multiple spots around the field. Freeman, full head of steam, and an SMU first down for the senior from Texarkana, Texas. So fourth and six for SMU. On the crossing route, that's been their bread and butter today. First and goal, Mustangs after the catch and run from Rishi Rice. This is going right in front of his face. If there's a communication between the corner and the safety, you'll probably get an opportunity to make that play. They follow the 20-yard pickup with a touchdown run for Xavier Jones. SMU puts 20 on the board as they double up the Pirates. They this, but a loss really validated that this is a good ball club, and we're seeing it again so far. 
Freeman makes the catch, and he's got the first down. You've got to explain that one to me. A loss laid here at SMU that this isn't just a one-trick pony. This is a team that they feel is built for the future. Rochelle unloads deep downfield. It's caught by Prochet. Touchdown, SMU. An impressive throw and even more remarkable grab for a 51-yard hookup. In the NFL. There were a lot of dark days in between to be sure for this program before its resurgence came to fruition. That's a heck of a grab if it stands as a catch for Omo Tarsho. Maybe going not the way you might have expected coming into it. And Ohio State is rolling against Maryland. Taylor's back across the field. He lets it go downfield. In the end zone, it's Sneed. Touchdown, ECU from 36 yards out. From broken to beautiful, and they get six. Eight defenders back. Catches made by Omo Tosho emerging as a big threat here today. And that's a great play to start this drive on first down. Yeah. They lead FBS at almost four and a half sacks a game. Going to run up the middle. They'll stop the clock momentarily to the 40-yard line. Mike Houston sprinting over to call timeout. But so that's a big loss for ECU. Quick throw. It's time to Sneed. And he's down inside the 30-yard line. Another first down. So it brings Verity on for another try. The Groza Award semifinalists looking to hit from 37 and make it a one-score game at the half. One of the best in the country. And he is true again. 28-20 at the break. 2,000-yard rusher in the NFL before Chris Johnson, one of the great ECU Pirates of all time. Big burst to the outside, and that's the explosive play the Pirates were looking for to get this half started. Touchdown after he nearly bobbled it away. A 45-yard score for the sophomore tight end. Chance here for a stop on third and ten. All three dropbacks, Bruchel has looked just one way. This time it's Granson, his tight end. Hit him for a couple touchdowns in the first. Old Reliable gets a first down on third and long. American heavyweights to the American Conference definitely did not disappoint. This is Granson. Another first down. Exactly where he wants to go with it. Well, I think it's pretty easy when you know the guys you can count on. A bounce to the outside for Jones. To the edge, and he's gone. Touchdown SMU. The response after the quarter opening score for ECU. A 35-yard run for the senior. Has to be the quarterback getting out of the pocket on his own. Sneed, catch number 12. First down to midfield. Mustangs rush just forward to throw across the middle. Sneed has the catch. Slips a tackle. He's gone. And it's a touchdown ECU. They just can't find a way to stop him. His 15th catch of the day goes for 47 yards. Yards and three scores. And that should be enough for a first down on the catch by Prochet to the game. Bouchelle all sorts of time, tosses up top. Who else but Granson? He's been the big play man all day, gives them first and goal. Just too much air on that one, just missed it. Kevin Robledo for the very short try, essentially an extra point. 
of which the Mustangs have missed seven this year, but this field goal is good. And the lead is four for SMU. Time here, yeah. coming from the Eastern to the Central time zone, hasn't really proved to be too impactful all that much. Donnie Kirkpatrick, their offensive coordinator, said it's 12 to us. We have you always see some teams from the West Coast usually have a very sleepy first half before they wake up. Williams has a first down and more as he's upended into SMU territory. And how they've grown this season. Tate Williams, another one of those freshmen. A pump fake and a perfectly placed ball to Blake Cole. Faraday, 41. And the kick is good. Snapped to Xavier Jones for a first down. On track for well over 500 total yards on both sides. This time thanks to Xavier Jones. Say goodbye. Touchdown Mustangs. Offense, we score, ECU, your turn. I've inside the five. Can they recuperate from that mistake? Ehlers goes up the middle, and he's got the first down to the 20-yard line. Playing to win on the road. Can Ehlers get there? He stretches as he's wrangled by pump by the defense. Across the line the game. On the mesh, a little bit of trouble as he gets it off to Hatfield, who got the scoring started today for ECU. With a... So I don't look at it as second down. I look at three more opportunities to gain 10. On the rollout, long toss downfield. Pass complete. Touchdown, ECU. And Sneed has done it again, this time a 57-yard catch as he sneaks behind the defense. To where they are comfortably ahead. Michelle pump fakes, fires, there's a flag down. Pass complete to Prochet, who's tied up at the 40-yard line. ECU on its last drive, converted on fourth down, scored a touchdown. How does SMU answer? Bouchelle's first and second options, not open. His third, though, is wide open along the sideline. First down SMU as Prochet was on the spot. So back-to-back -back mistakes for the Mustangs. Forced them into third and 12. Bouchelle on the run, and down he goes! Can they summon another big play? Bouchelle's got time in the pocket. He's got a man downfield. And SMU has a touchdown. So now, SMU, they score. It is now your serve, ECU. Short kickoffs have been a problem this year for SMU, but a loose ball is a bigger one for ECU. They had a botched fair catch earlier that sent them back. They still scored a touchdown. And it's SMU football, the biggest mistake of the day at the worst time for ECU. He's got three touchdowns today. Bouchelle looks his way. Now goes back across the field, delivers on target to Crochet. Jones, three rushing touchdowns today. They go to the air looking for Prochet. He's got the grab, his second of the day. And with 4.18 to play in Dallas, the Mustangs bolster their advantage. John kickoffs, bottom 10 in total yards on kickoffs, and yet they've capitalized. Nice throw down the sideline over the shoulder for Blake Prohl. Pressure rush up the middle. Ehlers avoids it. He throws to the sideline. And it's Prohl who runs out of bounds. Or ECU down 15, two minutes to go. Ehlers, end zone, touchdown. 
touchdown, Adi Omotosho, who's playing back near home, the Plano native, a 22-yard grab for the touchdown. Verity for the kick. And recovered smoothly by the Mustangs. One of the best games in the country this year coming down to the wire. Bouchelle on fourth down, the slap to Crochet. He has it at the 35 yard line. The first down they needed to salt it away. But the Mustangs get the job done. And for the first time since 1984, they've reached the nine win mark. Just an outstanding job for SMU.